but you get a little bit of a quad workout or your calves, depending on where you make contact. Hey, Robert, we're live? We're live. Oh, I've been alive for like 42 years. <laughs> life. Life on Earth is just a continuous process. It just evolves for millions of years. But on, on Instagram or just everywhere? On both Instagram and uh, Facebook, Restream. Twitch. Twitch, YouTube. Not, not Instagram? Instagram over there. Instagram yeah. Live or just regular Instagram or Instagram stories live. or the main feed live or like how, feed. just trying to figure out how I'm being partitioned as part of the universe here, how it's being <laughs> repackaged. Am I killing you right there? No, I was just laughing okay. at all the live. I'm... So he's using software that like pulls them all together. Oh, wow. So it's like he's using the camera once, but it splits it across those channels. Oh, so that's super. But cool. that's why that's why I pay him to do stuff. Because if you ask me how to do that, I'm like, oh, it's real simple. It's called restream. <laughs> but I don't know how to do it. I just figured out how to go live on Facebook. Like <laughs> Well, Facebook Live is pretty easy from your phone. It's just a button. It's just a button. They made that easy. Oh, yeah. She had to teach me that one. How's this out here? Okay. Oh, tender, but it's good. All right. So in a minute, I'm going to switch legs and go to the other side, but I just wanted to start here. Right. You're probably tighter on the right. Are you right-handed? Yes. Okay, you might be a little bit right-dominant. We'll see. Most of the time, it's mostly just the left one. Yeah. Why the left side? Uh, had an injury? or? Yeah, I straightened my PCL a few years ago, and then... Mm -hmm. uh, I put more pressure Posterior on Posterior collateral ligament, is it? Yes, PCL? Yes, yeah. Sir. Hello. Whew. So yeah, give me a second, then I'll just switch sides. This is how I work out my calves. <laughs> a little bit of quad, but in my case, mainly it's my calves. It's so great. I told you this. Danielle sold me first session. I was like, well. Oh. Yeah, Danielle likes to taunt me. <laughs> we have the inevitable debate about table versus mat, which she squarely jumps into because she has no strong right. inkling one way or the other. She does mm -hmm. both. But she does. She was teaching me a few other things like I can implement on the table, like the time it's for a table. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Some of it will really save your body if you implement some of it. Right. What I find is some of the therapists, they like it so much, they're like, well, I want more. And when I teach table tie, it's hilarious because my practice is mat-based. Right. I have a table in my studio, which I take out when I'm shooting video for other massage therapists <laughs> to make it look like I do massage. You know? <laughs> and... <laughs> When I show the therapist in class, always, six hour class, 12 hour class, table tie, whatever you want to call it, halfway through the first day, they start getting on the table. And then I walk around class and go, you're doing mat work, you're doing mat work, and you're doing mat work. And then they go, oh. And I'm like, yeah, this gravity has this weird thing where it pulls towards the center of the earth. So if you get on top of them, it just pulls your sorry ass into the client. And you don't have to work as much. You just stack body weight. I'm all about it. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Abram. If, uh, if anybody comments on there, feel free to shout, shout them out. What's your name? Yeah. Katie? Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you, Katie. It's Robert. Yeah. Yeah. You guys all know each other? No. Oh, okay. You do, you got phys there was enough close like physical proximity here that I was like they're already friends. So hang on. Yeah. 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 We know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I like that. Yeah. We are friends now. Robert, the pumpkin spice lady loves you a lot. The pumpkin spice lady? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh, so I'm I'm confused. Like I, I'm trying I'm fudging her name because she's the pumpkin spice lady on Instagram. But then she follows me on Facebook, and we're like, we sat and had, like, we had a beer in Round Rock when she came up. She's also in another video when I was in Houston. Damn it. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Anyway. Hello, Pumpkin Spice Lady. <laughs> she actually still working on hip and IT band. Oh, yeah. um, mainly it's hip and, like, gluteals to start, but then after I soften this up and open his low back, I'll kind of use this left foot to press into his IT band, but it'll take a second. Daphne. Daphne. So how did you know about the event? Daphne Lee, that was it. Daphne. 
How did you know about the event? Uh, Danielle told me to follow this page. Danielle Omo? Okay. Yeah. How would you guys know about the event? Um, how did I know? I think I just seen like some of your videos and I was interested in Thai. Yeah. And then saw that you guys do this. Yeah. And, and apparently what I did in video didn't scare you off enough or <laughs> you didn't like ask local people about my reputation and run screaming like your hair was on fire no. or Okay, cool, cool, <laughs> nice. Robert <laughs> hates tables. <laughs> <laughs> I found out about you at Lauderstein and cool. then I followed you on Facebook and then one of the therapists I work with in Leander told yeah. me amazing things about you. So yeah. I decided to come. If they take class with me, there's a real steep drop off. Like mm -hmm. There's like 10% who hate it, or hate me, and then the other 90% are like, dude, this is amazing, why aren't they teaching this in school? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I just do my thing. Hey, and Louise, how you doing? Hey, good, how are you? Oh, good, it's good to see you. Good, can I Yeah, come on in. in? Yeah. Okay, Okay. Right there. It's always important in time massage to make it look like you're working. <laughs> Do you have more problems with your quads or your hamstrings? Quads. Definitely. Quads, just tight? Yeah, always super tight. I mean, I tore my left hamstring okay. a long time ago and then just never had surgery repaired because mm -hmm. I was cheap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that you're not cheap, sir. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna re rephrase this for you. You live in America. <laughs> yeah. Like people ask me, like, what do I do about insurance? I'm like, marry rich. <laughs> like, it's like, dude, come on, man. Can't afford this. Stuff. Yeah. It's like in other countries they would be like, oh my God, you know, how barbaric, you know. But it's like, well, barbarism is what we got for healthcare in America. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Trying to think of, I think I'll do a little bit more work on your quads. Just give me a second. I want to go slow and not be like too deep, make it uncomfortable. Especially since you're this like muscularly developed. <laughs> that too much? No, you're good. Feels I'm... good. You're not getting seasick? No, not at all. I'm like <laughs> feeling pretty good. <laughs> Then I want to see real quick. Uh, you said this one you have more problems with, right. and that posterior collateral ligament. Like, d if your knee, you don't like hyperextend or anything. No, do you? Okay. No, nothing like that. Yeah. It'll, it'll I'm going to prop while. you just a little bit, right. just behind the knee. We'll see how that gives you a little cushion. How's that? Oh, cool. Sure, yeah. If I start to, to press, do you normally notice? Do you have more tension down towards the knee or up towards the hip? More towards the knee. More towards the knee? Okay. Erica's, uh, Erica on Facebook says, I don't have health insurance either. N nobody in America does. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> They're like, what? You don't have insurance? I'm like, no, I have the lowest level of the Affordable Care Act, which means if I cut my fucking leg off, I can get it reattached. But, <laughs> like, it don't, you know, it ain't exactly preventative medicine. But it's affordable, man. Yeah, that's intense right there. There we go. So if I if I go up, how's this? See, that's not that bad. Man. Not that bad. Okay. No, but as I go down. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna hook like right there. How's that? What, yeah, it's about a seven. What if I go right there? And then lean in. Too much? Oh, we're okay. We're still in a good. I'm not tensing. Do you up. want me to shear down towards your knee? We can. I'm I'm down for whatever. So. Whoa. Right there? That's a lot right there. Okay. So what about back off right there? <laughs> okay. If I go medial or lateral? Medial is intense, lateral Okay. So if I go just a little bit right there, how's that? That's good. Cool. Then I can just hang out here. This is uh, Captain Morgan. Uh, if you're good, you uh, drink tea. Uh, you can drink tea in one hand and you can like text in the other. You can make your Instagram video while you work on them, because now you're clothed and doing the work in public. You know, oh, yeah, true. Whatever. Totally doing Thai, I can use my phone. What if I jostle just a little bit? Do you prefer the static pressure or just a little jostle? I, like right now, both are good. Okay. And sometimes I'll, I'll go back and forth between the two just to try it out, see if it's any different. Well, oh, let me see that book real quick. Who is that by? Um, it's actually our friend came by. 
back from Thailand and uh, oh nice oh this is from Thailand okay uh -huh. yeah I was trying to figure out if uh because I thought it was one of my workbooks at first but no oh it's from Wat Po okay a school in the south yeah some basics biomechanically it's very similar There you go. Just wanted to check and see. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, like the thumb presses. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know much about your You just relax. You're kinder or anything. Yeah, it's like there's style differences. Uh, Landon will probably be here later. He can, he's been in Thailand. He'll talk a little bit more about the differences between northern style and southern style. We've had like long drinking you know, debates at my home where he's crashing maybe right now about like style differences from like region to region. Um, I've consistently moved away from like thumbing because it's more strain on their hands to stuff like this, where it's like I'm accessing the same line, but I'm using like a different tool. The challenge is getting massage therapists in the West to understand how to use their legs and feet and how to feel with like different parts of their body. Yeah. Like so if I give you just a little bit more down, we're good now. See, so it's good now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna back off just a little bit so I can change angle. There we go. There we go. There you go. Is it too much pressure? No. Okay. Just checking, make sure. What if I give you some jostle? Okay. Whoa, is right there? Yeah. Because I'm right over like yeah. vastus in that part yeah, of your quad. Like right there, yeah. Whoa. Let's see, that was a lot right there. That yeah. last little jostle. <laughs> Heidi earlier, uh, what's she doing? Because I worked with Heidi earlier, we shot some video, and Heidi was, she was trying to figure out some stuff for the upper back, and then it got to like quads. And she needed help for quads because she works on CrossFitters. She, she oh, yeah. coaches at a CrossFit gym, so they always have problems with the rotator cuff and like their hips yep. and their quads. And then on the quads, I was showing her how to sit um, in various forms. Because there's a lot of like weird complexity that goes where it's like you, you start with something like that and then over time, it's like consistently what I find is they go off road. And when it goes off road is when it gets interesting. Yo, it's easy. <laughs> Whatever I can do that's the least amount of work. Like, this is how the work went, because people still argue with me about whether it's Thai or not. And saying whether it's Thai is kind of like, it's a weird cultural thing. You know, it's like, like I grew up in South Louisiana, I make gumbo. Where are you from? I'm from East Texas. East Texas, okay. If you make gumbo and I make gumbo. Oh, it's completely different. I got family from New Iberia. Yeah, so, yeah. And the, the, I, I so people, when people argue, and I don't know regional food as well in Texas as they did in Louisiana. So discussing like the differences between Cajun and Creole. Oh. Oh, see, but you're from Louisiana. You know, exactly. Very different. But to outsiders, it's the same thing. Not the same thing. Oh, <laughs> see, but like time and size, like northern style, southern style, whatever. Right. What I kept doing was... Okay, how do we make the work as effective for pain relief as quickly as possible? And how do we make the work as easy on my body as possible? And when those two lines cross, is it too much? It felt like it was just a little more lateral. Right. It's, yeah. You got intense for a second, right and then it's kind of just mellowing out. Yeah. So with Heidi, she is, I think, a little bit smaller than I am. Like if she was working on a big guy like you, that's when I show her the seated stuff because she needs more body weight that sustained broad pressure. But in our culture, it's weird to sit on people. I got banned from a couple of Washington State massage groups recently because I posted a video sitting on somebody. <laughs> and there were, there were cries of misogyny and me too. And you know, I'm like, whoa, hey, hold on. <laughs> like, goddamn. <laughs> You're fully clothed. <laughs> They're like, this is way too intimate. I'm like, you work on naked people. <laughs> in a closed, like, closed, like, lightly softened room. How's that right there? There we go. So from here, is it too much pressure? No. So like, 10 is hospital, zero is no pain. Where's the, like, the intensity at? We're about like a five. Five, okay. Yeah, Could five you, very, very gently, can you like straighten your leg like you're gonna lift, like engage your quad? There you go. And you can engage it as much as you want. 
and then slowly you can let it relax. If you think that helps, you're hap welcome to like actively engage that way. Christopher Body Works said uh, you expand in the film instead of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's much easier. I mean, I got to wear this weird headset. Timmy! But um, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's really nice when you guys film and like catch different camera angles because I'm busy working on people. The hardest is like I only get why it was certain camera angles shooting Instagram videos because I'm sitting there like filming while I'm working on somebody. So all I see is my leg, you know, because I can't like, yeah, I don't have a selfie stick. So. He, he did a quote, uh, Masur made me feel uncomfortable, hashtag me too. <laughs> I'm surprised no one had a fit about that word. Oh, <laughs> God. Massage therapist, sir. I don't think there's anything in the universe as tight as massage therapist sphincters. <laughs> Which one? There's only like 32 sphincters in the box. I, I mean the main <laughs> exit sphincter. Uh, they're just real up tight, like in ways that I just don't. They're like, I don't want people to call me the masseur. I'm like, I just want people to call me. Like, I got, <laughs> yeah, I got to make money. Call me, I don't care what you say. <laughs> Oh, great. Yeah. So the, here was a problem. I tried doing stand-up in Baton Rouge years ago. This was before Hurricane Katrina, and it was horrible. It was kind of like I was trying to be George Carlin, but it was more like Andy Kaufman, and I mainly just made the audience uncomfortable because I was trying to find my voice. And then Hurricane Katrina happened, and I didn't go near the stage for like three months because I was like, nope, mm -mm. you don't want to hear what I got to say. It ain't going to be good. Yeah. It was a crazy scene. But a lot of stand-up, love, love stand-up. I'm going to go just a little bit lower. When I disengage right there, is that too much? In other words, when I, when I backed off, right. I didn't come off as slowly as I right. normally it, would. It was like a little, it was like about a six, seven for a second. And yeah. Then it was, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to go just a little bit lower. Ooh-wee. Right there, that's dense. How's that? Now, if I'm a little more lateral, do you prefer that as to me being on top? The lateral is actually slightly more painful. Okay, a little more tender. So if I jostle you still, is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so what if I sink right there? And then lateral or medial? Lateral is not bad at all. Medial is actually jumping to like five. A little more tender? So if I'm right there and shear down towards the knee, how's that? Nice, nice. So I think what I need to do is if I do stand up, because they only give you like five minutes, is I just grab a young lady from the audience and like work on her for five minutes and tell all the same jokes I do in a body work session. Because they'll think it's funny, but I, I'm, I'm used to that platform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That lateral aspect right there. Oh, dude. These, they're, they're such big muscles. When therapists use like their forearm, I'm just like, ooh. Man, it's like you can do that, but... I like when they start with a broader tool and then slowly soften it up to do like little spot work. If they just come in with their forearm or try to shear through that, I'm like, eh. it's like, gosh. Man, I thought, these were, I thought my legs were getting better. <laughs> no, it's just tension though. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like you're, you're doing lots of work to like shorten muscles when you're working out, so. Whew. Whenever it ends, just restart it. Say, no, it's always the same. Do I restart it now? You can restart it. Right there. So, yeah, Josh isn't here yet. Landon isn't here yet. I don't know who else is going to make it out. It's always variable night to night. Abe? Abe, bro. But like I say, Abe, bro. Like I say that like that because it's JJ Abrams. I don't have that money. Abe, <laughs> I'll take a percent. A percent hey, of what? Five hundred million. Oh. I'll take one percent of five hundred million. I'll be straight. Abra is like a, like a, a term of endearment in Hawaii. So is that fifty thousand? I'll take that too, though. Yeah. So like that. yeah. Hey, bro, how you doing? I don't know if this is related, but I read a PDF book on trigger point therapy. Mm -hmm. What are y'all doing related to it? Yeah, they're, they're debates. Um, I constantly use trigger point reference charts to try to work with students to help them with clients who are having specific pain. 
my general feeling is that trigger point therapy seems to work, but the more I research and study, it seems like the reasons they're giving that it works are different mm -hmm. than what a lot of text says. What I do is I tend to do trigger point work, but I'm using very different tools instead of my hands or forearms and elbow to like access those areas. Yeah. So let's say he has like a trigger point, so to speak, in his quads. I can hang out in that tissue longer effortlessly using my knees and feet. Mm -hmm. And also it's broader. So it's like this is, is pointy. It's like, ooh, it makes people recoil because it'd be too much pressure too fast. Yeah. A big broad foot, like how long have I been working just, just this thigh? Good. It's eighty dollars an hour. <laughs> so you, your style well, is less stress. I get paid for effectiveness, not speed. <laughs> yeah. As long as it works, as long as you get the job done. <laughs> so it, it does less stress on you as the masseur. Yeah, it's a big reason that I like it, but also like from a. So you're a massage therapist. You've only had work with Danielle previously. Was it mat based or table? Mat based. Mat -based. And then like, if you had to receive like quad work, how's this compared to other stuff you've had? Thigh as compared to quad work it is way less intense but a lot more effective. Like, I, that's why I'm just like, yes, let's do Thai. Like, let's do this. <laughs> it's like, why have I been wasting my time? I've been like a therapist for like seven months now, I think. Like so, is, is that too close to your knee? Okay, just making sure. Right there? There we go. Yeah, I've been a therapist for like eight months. I'm already like, oh, yep, I just want so to die. So in the yeah. end, like I'm very focused on mat based. I have to refine the way I use language with students because they feel like I go, screw all that shit you learned. And that's not really what I'm doing. What I'm right. trying to do is expand their set of tools. The problem is essentially what happens is clients come in and we have now a lift and we can lift the car up so we just walk underneath it. Mm -hmm. But the client comes in and says, no, 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 I want you to give them that little wheeler roll thing to roll under the car. Okay. And that's what I feel like they're doing because the clients start dictating how we work mm. as opposed to letting it just work in the way we find is most effective. And the reason I say that is they're like, well, you know, time massage is totally legitimate. I'm like, well, it can be legitimate all day, but it's not offered in any facility in Austin. It's like I can teach students, and here's what they do. They go, oh, when are you going to open a place? And it took me a long time to cue in. They like the work. They want a job doing it, and they want me to create the place because they know they can't work anywhere in Austin using it. Now, that's slowly changing. But on the whole, the therapists I work with have to run their own businesses and get their own clients because there aren't facilities offering mat-based work, even if you and I think it might be superior for pain relief. Long term, I'm just trying to give the therapist more tools and try to get facilities to stop dictating how they work and just allow them to, if I go, ooh, towards your knee, how's that? Is that too sharp? Or do you prefer the broad? It, that's, the sharp was fine. Like sharp was fine? So more, more medial or more lateral? All around. It's more tools. It's like things change. Like we, we can evolve what we do. Hi. Now we have Timmy on a headset. <laughs> right, right there, and a little bit down. What do you feel? I can't explain. It's like I feel it starting to release, and then I feel my tongue starting to tangle. Yeah. At the same time, it's pretty cool. Little jostle or hold still? Just hold. Okay. Yeah. What's your name again? Trish. Trish, how you doing? Good. What is this second, third time? Fourth time, time. Second, second. Okay, some, some, somewhere in there. Yeah. Oh, the the therapist with the arm pain. That's the first thing. They're like, I'm dying. My hands, come here. And I work on them, and they're just they freak out. Yeah. They're just like, oh my god, like what? And I'm like. Do you, do you want to live in a world of pain? And they're like, why do you talk about massage envy so much? Because I'm trying to get them to contact me and start Thai massage envy. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why I talk shit about massage envy all day. Y'all think y'all think I'm fighting the big corporation? No, I'm trying to get the big corporation corporation offer number three. You know, or whatever. It's like, 
they got to straight toe, like they're close, they just don't get it yet. Right? Right there. A little more lateral, a little more medial. Medial, for sure. Medial? Okay, when I'm right on top, how's that? Intense, but I like it. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly just disengage for a second. Just give you a break. We've been on that quad for five minutes or more at least. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And I'm gonna just jostle it again. Yeah. Just to wake it up. <laughs> and they go, time to size jam, I don't understand. What is it? I'm like It's amazing. It's That's like it is. it's it's like Burning Man hit massage school. <laughs> They're like, but it's like Without anarchy. I'm like, that's what I said. <laughs> like, I don't understand who's in control. I'm like, is anybody, I was a philosophy student, is anybody really in control? No. No. I mean, we live under that illusion. Trump is in control. You're safe. <laughs> your, pre your government is control, America. <laughs> The best is people will come in and they'll, like a massage therapist, they'll get work for somebody for 30 minutes. And they'll ask Josh, like, man, where do you work? And he's like, oh, I teach a violin over at school. And they're like, what? You're not a massage therapist? And he's like, no, I've just been like coming here for five years. <laughs> they, think he's, they think he's licensed just because his work is good, you know? How's it feel now? That's super great. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it'll take some work, but I think also I don't have as um as much knowledge of like what I'd call therapeutic exercise and, and like people's athletic performance from getting body work regularly. I assume that it's more effective because you're more relaxed, so the muscle can lengthen and then contract when you need it to. Um, but I don't really I don't know of any like research studies like about like. Athletic yeah. performance and res massage I know, regularly. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, tw Twitch is always a little, you know, murky. You know, Twitch is murky. All right. Yoga instructors, are you yoga instructors? Yogis and thigh massage is lazy yoga. Does that make you a boo boo? A boo boo? Yeah. What's a boo-boo? Oh, Yogi, like Yogi Bear oh, and boo-boo. Boo -boo. Yeah, I got it. That was lame. I was like, boo-boo. <laughs> so let's uh, stand up and have you walk around and see how that feels. Oh, wow. But. Yeah. So you, you, guys, you guys made it out tonight before you leave. Um, I got a, a free sticker for all of you for the Time and Size Jam. If you want to pick up a t-shirt, the t-shirts are 20. They, they come in two different colors, like a mint and a purple, but then they came in three different styles, like tank tops, v-necks, and just standard shirts if you guys want one. Um, if you don't pick it up tonight, you can get it some other time too. But Yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 Do you take debit cards? Debit cards? I take everything except crypto. And the only reason I don't take crypto is I ain't figured out how to do it yet. <laughs> Yeah. Or drugs. If, if you got drugs, I'll trade you. That, we were putting this on camera. You got to stream that so people know who you are, who you're really dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> Did you figure this one out enough? I think for the most part. It's not, not uncomfortable? Yeah. Are you having problems with anything? Um, I was actually having some problems with my hip down yeah. here a little bit. So this is kind of nice. <laughs> so is it always here? So this this jam, the the other stu the other people who are running, the other hosts, they have their jams in different locations. We used to have this one each week. I just dropped back to the first and third Thursday to try, like manage my time and sanity. Um, so we'll continue having this, preferably on the first and third Thursday, unless it's a holiday. 
and then I just put out information as I can. Yeah, we've got to update the online stuff. It's gotten Facebook keeps like adding features and stuff, and it's made everything completely confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Like Facebook is. They're linking my Instagram, but then I can't really comment to Instagram stuff, even though I can see somebody posted and I can't figure out if it's the business manager or the, I don't know. It's just layer after layer. I can never figure it out. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Hey, John, how you doing? Good, Robert. How are you doing? Good, good. Mm. So what, what's up with the hip? I drive a lot, that's what I do for a living. The right or the left? Left. Left? Yeah. Is it stick shift? No, actually, no? not anymore. Okay. Um, it was stick shift, but I think it's just stagnant sitting oh, okay. for so long. Yeah. Just kind of do you want to learn some uh, hip work on it? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Hey, Trish, you want me to work on you for a second? You want some, some hip work? I'm going to demonstrate for her so she can, what? Hip work is what I desperately need. Hip work? Oh, okay. Wh which hip are you having problems with? Perfect. Which hip you having problems with? Mostly right. Right. Okay. Uh, lay down on your back here, and then it's your. That's your left. This is your right. It's always confusing to me. Is this what you want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then what's up with your hip? What's going on? I just have this chronic, okay. uh, like tightness. Just tightness. Uh, it goes from low back. See it just pop. Yeah. Low back. Okay. So I want you to try this and, and see if this helps his hip at all. Okay. Go ahead and hook him, uh, what I call, into your holster. You're on the opposite side I am, I think, but it's, but it's like this. And what I want to do is I want to bring her up enough that I have a, a little bit of lean like this. In other words, I'm not using my hands so much. We got one fly. There's always one fly in Austin. I don't know why. Open your arm there. So as I, as I bring you up towards your shoulder, how's that? Feels good? Okay. And the hand is more just a guide, but it's not like really doing much. And then if I, if I bring her to about 90 degrees, I'm going to press on her adductors here just to see how it affects her hip. I'm looking at her face to see if she gives. That usually means less pressure. There we go. And you can use both palms depending on who you're working with and how much pressure they want. There you go. Too tight. It feels great. It's just where it's tight up there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm noisy. <laughs> I had a lady call me the other day. It was the first like hate phone call I, I'd gotten in a while <laughs> and it was a, there was a voicemail message I woke up at like 11 and the the message on the phone was like D you know are you are you board certified and I get lots of questions from people who call from like other states because they're trying to get CE credit or whatever so I called the number it rang three or four times the lady picked up and she said do you have mental problems <laughs> and I went well you mean done it's kind of a, an abrupt way to start a conversation. She's like, are you a sadist, sir? Do you, you know, do, are you, are you psychotic? You know, she started tearing into me and it sounded like based on something she said, she mentioned the name Joy, which I was like, did she see a video I did with somebody named Joy? Cause she was like, do you think it's okay for people to moan in session? And I'm like, well, sometimes people are auditory. Like I don't, and you have to understand, I just woke up, hadn't had coffee, so I didn't know what was going on. But once I figured out, you know, we're in major Trollville and my internet, information's all over the internet, it was like, oh, okay. And she hung up on me, so. How's this? It was, it was like getting hate mail, but on the phone. It was, for, I, had, I hadn't been like verbally assaulted like that in a while. How's that? It's good. There we go. Not too much? No. Right there. How's the pressure? You, you need more? Now, this one, this one you have to watch. I'm going to take, take her out of my holster and I'm going to bring her up and over. Just a big circle.
And there's not much pressure like on the heel here. I'm not like side bending the leg. Mm -hmm. It's mostly about mobilizing through the hip. And then I'm going to bring knee to opposite shoulder. How's that? Mm -hmm. There we go. And then a little hamstring. <laughs> little <ad. laughs> Is it pinch a little bit? Not a bad way. There we go. And if I bring you over, how's that angle? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you prefer that angle to so be like this? Both are good, but this gets low back more. Okay. So if I get in the low back and then like right here. There. It does feel good, but it doesn't feel like that's like the crying spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel that more towards your spine? The crying spot? I don't feel the crying spot right at this moment. Okay. Yeah. But it's cry but it cries a lot, so it just and uh she and my twin sister that has her with they both fell in the same week and like gave them head injuries. Yeah. So it was a massive head injury, but it scared us. Yeah. And so we were like we were And then this is a fun one to unwind her. I'm gonna bring my thighs right up against your sacrum. How's that? Good. Wow, this is much more open. <laughs> Just from that. Normally people would have much more tension there. That feel like it helped your hip, brother? Yeah. yeah. It's a good sort of uh, constant little routine, like when people have hip or low back issues. So that knee to opposite shoulder is almost a direct stretch to that. Okay. If I'm doing more uh, compression side. Because I went through a little bit slower because I was showing you how to walk through it. Normally I would go a little, maybe a little bit faster, but it depends on the feedback the person gives me. Chad Foden said you're a true master. I'm a true master, yes. I, swat, I studied in the swamps of Dagobah with Yoda. They had the little thing shock me in the face, it was nice. How's that? I was I was blindfolded with a lightsaber. It was great. Sounds like weird party. Whatever it takes. It's not as tight on this side. You notice the difference? Yeah, like your adductors. I don't feel like as dense on this side. How's the pressure? <laughs> she was like, oh. <laughs> How's the pressure? Uh, I feel like you can do it a little bit more. Yeah. I don't think your leg goes up any higher. <laughs> <laughs> She's just chilling. She has her hands behind. Like, this is I won't use it. Is too much here? <laughs> too much here? I feel it like here and here. It's yeah. good. <laughs> Are you having problems with your performance? Oh. <laughs> After I work on hers, I can work on yours briefly. I have become a true master. Yes, I mash on people. I have become a master of mashing. In the lack of science and technology, I mash on people for a living.
there. This knee to opposite shoulder is the, the piriformis I was talking about. Yeah. I don't feel it there though. Where do you feel it? In the front on the inside? Yeah. It depends on hip position. If I change it just a little bit, a little more lateral, is that better? Does it pinch as much? There we go. You dying? Tight there? Yeah. Someone said you just soothed them. I what? You soothed them. I soothed them. <laughs> My back feels better. Feel like poppies? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's let go. There you go. There we go. So here, here's my fundamental innovation. I do time massage and I make video of it. And most consume on a mass scale. It completely changes the notion of what people think massage and body work is. And I jokingly tell students in my classes that the m most famous massage therapist uh, uh, in the US is Phoebe from Friends. And she had a smelly cat She's kind of a hippie, and she played, you know, folk songs at a, you know, cafe in New York. Um, mas massage therapists aren't very esteemed, like, by the general public, but it changes the way people look at the work. Like, the jam is more informal, like it's, you know, friends hanging out. But, like, when we do the relief clinic, do you see how it almost looks more like rehab or, like, PT or chiropractic or it looks like more clinical in a way it's still loose and fun but it's like it changes people's notions of what like massage and body work is and i really like doing this style of work so i just kept filming it to keep growing and building that was that better so how does something like this uh, some, some massage therapists get involved with something like massage entrepreneurs or, or rg wellness well, Massage Entrepreneurs is a Facebook. You can join that for free. Um, you just answer three questions. I'm the admin of the group. Uh, I, I do that because I'm head troll. You can't ban me or remove me no matter how caustic I become. Um, we give away free advice and information to massage therapists who are trying to build in regards to business there. If you want to study more with me, the subscription service is your best bet. We have about 350 hours of my class recordings on that subscription service for $7 a month, including access to a private Facebook group. 
in that private Facebook group, you're sort of doing an online apprenticeship with me. It means that not only can you get all this free content from social media, but you're getting another 350 hours of my actual class instruction in addition to me helping you. If you have specific questions, you can ask once you subscribe on that private Facebook group. And sometimes if the questions are good enough, I literally just go into my studio, shoot a video to answer students' questions. So it's like a way of interactively studying with me online. That's uh, mostly what I have. Otherwise, you know, if you don't want to even spend the $7 a month, most of my social media channels, if you're really poor through my, my YouTube channel, you'll get to see a sort of incre incre incremental progression of how things have changed over the years and how I've continued to just build up through video production specifically. Yeah, so what about uh, where can, can uh, followers online, viewers online, find the Time Massage merch and uh, check that out? So the Time Massage Jam merchandise, we don't have my store set up on my website yet for it. We're trying to finish up Shopify and launch that. You can go to Time Massage Jam, the main page on Facebook, and I believe that it's for sale there. Also, if you go to Robert Gardner Wellness on Facebook, I think that the shirts, the merchandise is also listed there now. Yeah. And when is going to be the, the private retreat, Hawaiian? Oh, uh, that, yeah, we're still working on logistics. We'll, we'll get there. We're just not there yet. We got a million irons in the fire. Right now, we're still trying to figure out Restream and setting up Shopify. <laughs> so I want to work towards retreats because I think students will do better in an intensive format over the course of a week. Plus, I like swimming with sea turtles. That was what I found out when I went to Hawaii. Um, so we're trying to do that as more of an intensive, like out of the state. We also talked, talked about the coast of Texas, like South Padre or some, port, you know, some other areas, about potentially going down on the coast of Texas and doing a retreat. But those will be listed over time on the website as well, any other classes. And uh, there's some locations to get, uh, get some work done outside of Texas. What are those other time massages? So the time massage jam, if you go to the main page, you can ask on the main page and if somebody's close to your area, they'll let you know. I think we have 12 chapters of the jam running right now. Most of them are in Texas, but we also have St. Louis, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Denver, Colorado. Um, other students over time are going to get certified and start running jams in various areas, but we're just starting to get infrastructure, sorry, we're just starting to get infrastructure together to kind of build that out. Yep, yep. So what, what, uh, how does this, this transition to something like, that? you know, you, you always say like this is like the Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu of, of uh, massage or yeah. like the, uh, the UFC of massage. Yeah. How does it transition? Like, how, how does it relate? You talk about how uh, it's like... So, what, what I saw years ago was I started doing Thai massage because I found it really effective. I had a car accident from a junk driver. Um, it was the time as I practiced, I got used to doing work that was clothes on mat based. And what I tell people is, it reminds me very much of what I experienced as a kid when I would watch mixed, mul mixed martial arts, or initially what was the ultimate fighting championship. Hoist Gracie walked in and this very unassuming guy from Brazil basically decimated everyone in his path. All of these mixed martial artists had to start training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to defend against his style of grappling. Essentially what happens is massage therapists, I tell them, they're, they're like boxers. They have a jab and an uppercut. What they do is they try to punch me, I dodge a punch, put them in a chokehold, wrap my legs around them and threaten to rip their arm off. They have to tap out. It's a very different way of solving a problem. So if I'm, let's say I'm a very petite woman, 80% of the massage industry is female. If I'm a very petite woman who weighs about 100 pounds and I'm working on a 300 pound guy, they have to use even smaller structures to work on that guy, meaning hands. It's not enough pressure for that larger client, but what she's able to do is if she can use 100 pounds, including her legs and feet, she can change the dynamics of the body work to be able to use her full body weight to work with that client. Long term, I'm just giving therapists more tools, but when consumers think about massage, they don't think about legs, knees, feet at all. If you take a boxer, my industry, it feels like I'm teaching them something akin to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's a slightly different art form that's clothes on and mat based. 
The reason we dealt with the Time and Size Jam for so long was it was good community outreach to allow people to explore, practice, build, and uh, learn some of the work very inexpensively, in addition to allowing people to come in and get very inexpensive work so I could work on them outside of the sessions that I give that are three hours long it, for a price. In other words, we had a community event that it was just as important for them to make an Instagram video as it was for me to get paid clients for sessions. Hey James, how you doing? Come on in, man. That was super informative, and I'm, I'm sure the people online will appreciate that. Yeah. Come on in, man. How you doing? Cool. How you been? You been busy? Cool. I didn't want to hit all the mic, what is, yeah, all this equipment here. Yeah. <laughs> What? What is this? <laughs> well, these people have licenses, you have liability insurance. What is all this? Yes. You guys can you can guys can occupy one of these mats now that I'm up. Yeah. If you want to get off of this. What's for done with this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How you doing, man? <laughs> did you uh did your brain end when you were uh I spent probably a solid five hours. Yeah, just take a break, man. Yeah, it ain't a mad rush. My business, yeah. I don't want to stress you out. I could tell you were just like, uh. How you been? Good. Have you been busy? Yeah, well, I was commiserating with him because uh, I went, my, my dad was really ill and I'm yeah. back and I just got back and... Is your dad doing okay? He is. It's yeah. a miracle. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's been crazy though. How are you doing? Everything seems great. Crazy? Everything's great. Let's see, uh, getting divorced. Oh, you are. Oh, yeah. No, it's just, yeah. Well, I knew that was happening at one point. Yeah, it's, was, yeah, it's, it's like, I mean, it's amicable, yeah, but it's, it's never fun. Yeah, right? no. Uh, my dad is having some health problems and some stuff. Like, I've been trying to tend with my family a little uh -huh. bit because of that. That's a little stressful. Yeah. Everything business-wise is good. It's growing. It's yeah. just, yeah. yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what's up with all the headgear. <laughs> I'm not, like, a huge fan, but otherwise, we do, we do what well. we got to. Yeah. You look good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Only rock stars. Whatever, Do you need me to work on anything? I'm um, sure. You having problems with that same arm and this you know, yeah, right arm and neck, hip, any, anywhere. Is it more right arm? No, it's kind of more more left. Well, no, you're right. It is more right. The neck is more right. And the hip so is lay, lay lay back on your back. I just remember working on you. Yeah. Do, doing some different stuff, yeah. like hooking here, and then how's that? Awesome. Is that too much? No, okay. it's great. You're so light. Ah, oh, feels good. It's all the, all the cloudiness it doesn't. I need muscle. Is what I need. Because <laughs> you're right. I float in the water when trying to swim and get stronger. Is that too much? No, it feels great. There. Okay. At the same time. There we go. Three. So if I give you just a little bit of traction, mm -hmm. there we go. Because with you, I always remember it was the, the compression as well. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see what it feels like on the back side so I can show her where we'll put our knees? Mm -hmm. I notice um, one of the good things about shooting so much video content is I get to improvise on camera and the students get to see like how do I deal with different people or different body types or like some people can take more pressure some people can't and it's really challenging for me to try to convey how the therapist connects with the client more deeply in a more intimate way that's appropriate like for what the client is dealing with so if I give you just a little bit of pull same place. Where, do you, where do you feel that mainly? I feel it in my neck, spine, yeah. all the way. Like, makes me wonder if you have like arthritis or something in there. If I compress you a little bit. Yeah, that feels great. Okay. I get to slide you around the mat. Oh, I'm glad you brought another mat, Lynn. Yeah. 
we had more people tonight. That uh, red mat in the back is kind of ratty. We might have to toss that one. Chad Bowden said, mark my words. What? So we find you in from Thailand. <laughs> so Chad Chad Bolding is in Arkansas. He's got total rejuvenation studies. I think Chad just started a YouTube channel. He's had a Facebook group for a while. Um, Chad's interesting. He's been using elements of uh, Sistema, which is like a Russian martial art, uh, combined with some kind of mobilizations that are a little more like Asian influenced. A little bit of Thai massage, some other stuff, but his work. I think he's been working more on a table, but he does lots of interesting, like, jostles. Like, it's a, I don't know. I, I've never seen anything quite like it, but I, I like his work. It's got a different, like, a slightly different feel to it. Yeah. So, Total Rejuvenation Studies, you can find him. His uh, Instagram is pretty active uh, as well. There you go. So you're like me, and I'm, I'm making total assumptions, by the way. When people do this to me, it feels good on my arm, mm -hmm. but it's like it's the facet joints and all the stuff mm -hmm. in my neck as it moves. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it feels so good. Yeah, be dragged yeah. around. Because yeah. I have probably arthritis from the whiplash. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I've had yeah. whiplash twice. Yeah. Hardcore, so yeah. Interesting. There you go. Uh, but I mean, I make no judgments, no, so. No, no yeah. worries. Steve Hinton said he loved watching the video. He always loves showing you. Yeah. He wants to go to Hawaii. Hawaii? When Let's do it. Then you give a retreat or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm a. Uh, so yeah, we we did this. Um, we're trying to figure out. I think what I want to do is like I'll I'll continue teaching just standard classes, but I want to start doing intensives. And if I do the intensive like a week long, it's more like vacation time. But what it also does is it gets the students out of their normal kind of rut. And I mean, and if you had to teach a class, why wouldn't you teach in Hawaii? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Yeah. How's that right there? There we go. Down in my left hip, like feels so great. There we go. Now, does that little light jostle feel as good, or do you like to just a slow, steady traction? As a jostle, I mean, the jostling, I feel like a little bit, I both. release more. There we go. I mean, that feels good to you, though. But I'll, I mean, I'll take it If I hook it right there, how's that? There we go. There we go. There we go. Totally fine. Yeah, whatever works for you guys. This is all bonus for me, so. How's that, Anne Louise? Good. Not too much? Yeah. There we go. Right there. So um, I, originally what I was doing is I'm, I just do like a little compression, kind of move around. And then some, some traction, uh, like the opposite, right? Just that, you can tell it's just the way she... Because I've worked with her before, so she always likes this. Yeah. <laughs> and then what it is is a rotator cuff. If I take my foot and I put it down, I'm essentially pulling her shoulder blade on top of my foot and then like jostling her over the top of my foot right here. Is that in Luis? Yeah, there you go. Our Instagram feeds about that. You want to do an outro real quick? Uh, thank you guys for following us on Instagram. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, just write down below and I'll answer as I can. Uh, we'll continue putting out content as regularly as possible, both from the Time Massage Jam and then also probably from the relief clinic that we run out of my home studio. So we'll see you guys again soon. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to subscribe, like I said, there's about 350 more hours of my actual classes on that subscription service. You can find the link on my bio link. There you go. Right. There, right, there, right, there, right. Giving oh. so much mobility. Oh, oh, oh she's dead. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, so we're between the ones that you want to do. No, no, you can't hold on to that right now. Okay, so we're going to into the shoulder. This is why I do what I do, Aunt Louise. He has. <laughs> I'll get louder. I'll be like, oh. It's like you're, it's like you're hanging out where Rasputin and went into ecstasis. It's so She's just got this look on her face of like, oh, my God, don't it stop. Is. You don't understand. <laughs> I have been here for like four months. Oh. Has it been so, that long? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch sides. Oh. We'll just switch sides for a bit yeah. and see how that does. <laughs> It's like my body just craves it. It's like so. It's like yeah. It's like a drug, and I haven't had it fixed in so long. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I had a. I, I'm going to release this probably on YouTube. I had a class in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and this guy was asking this real specific business question. Is that too much right there? Yeah, it's good. I'm just trying to... And I, I started talking about marketing and what I call, I don't know if this is the official term, multipliers, uh -huh. which is like, is it less expensive? Is it more effective? Uh -huh. It's like if, when, you get multi, when you get multipliers, right. it changes things. Right. So like the reason that Uber took over for the cab industry is that... It was less How expensive, was it? it was more effective, it was this. more whatever. I, no, no, this wasn't released yet. Okay, I watched something like a couple, like a month yeah. ago. I mean, I talk about amazing. similar concepts. Yeah, there was an amazing. But here's what happened in, in Fort Smith, yeah. is I had a conversation, and these therapists, there were like six or eight students in the class, and I talked about the heroin trade in New York from the late <laughs> 60s to the early 70s for like 15 minutes. And it's from, it's from American Gangster with Denzel Washington right. playing Frank Lucas. Right, right. And talking about the heroin trade right. and how heroin cut out the Italians right. and like reduced the cost and all this right. stuff. And the students at one point are like, I, I don't understand. Is, did the teacher just talk about the heroin trade for 15 minutes in the middle of our massage class? And I'm like, marketing, this is pain relief, bro. Why do you think people use heroin? Come on now, let's get real. It's so true. <laughs> how, many, how many heroin dealers did you give birth to that day? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Uh, <laughs> right there. Does it feel as good on both sides? It does. Yeah. See, it's just the way you respond because it feels like it's all these vertebra. Yeah. Like it it's not it's not your shoulder or no, just your elbow. Right. You know? They're all just like yeah. like that. And I yeah. I think it's just being hyper vigilant in my body and the whiplash and just ah. kind of thing. But yeah, Tight. so you give me a, an out, a secure out. Oh, I feel even better than the other side. This one's even, oh. See, I want to go into federal prison and hang out with Chapo Guzman. Oh, yeah. Not? Chapo, teach me about marketing. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to yeah, from a from a business standpoint, I just think the drug trade is interesting because it's almost like pure capitalism because it's illegal. Yeah. It's like it's just get it done, you know. Yeah. It's, even though it's illegal, it's like yeah. there's a lot of supply and demand issues that are very straightforward. The purest of capitalism. Yeah. Your life and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. You know, it's interesting. I think this side is harder. It feels better almost, but it's because that hip is. Oh, yeah. It was like push you off the mat. There you go. Is that too much right there? No, that's great. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So are you staying up your the, is your client staying up there? Like my what? Your your studio where you work? Yeah, at? so I'm still in the home. Um, towards the end of the year my wife and I are gonna figure out what's going on with the house and whatever. Um, I'll, most likely I'm going to get an apartment mm -hmm. and potentially have a home studio mm -hmm. and then just kind of continue the way I have been. Yeah. But it'll be kind of a weird mental shift because oh, yeah. we've been together 12 years, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah so sure. a little different. For sure. I've been reading the movie. Lots of things, yeah. Yeah, my brother's just going to just divorce my sister. I got divorced a couple of years ago. That's a lot. Yeah. But it's also exciting. Yeah, it's got a weird, like, 
signature to it. Mm -hmm. It's got a different sense of what I, you know, thought it would be. So one of the things I figured out years ago is like a lot of people who run the time of size jams elsewhere, they'll they'll keep space between the mats because it's like here's my mat, here's your mat, and then over time, because of the acro community particularly, I just pushed all the mats together because all the fun stuff was when you reached over here and you started working on the calf, and then it's like everybody's everybody's like working. Yeah, it's just like the the boundaries were a little different. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Told you it's like it's like massage school hit Burning Man. <laughs> There I was South, uh, South CrossFit place. Is it the CrossFit yeah, itself? the CrossFit gym is interesting. Um, a lot of the CrossFitters who come are really interesting to work with because they know anatomy. Yeah, they're but they amazing. they might not necessarily be massage therapists, right. but they're also used to doing like self work. Totally. So when we come in, they're like, "Give me more!" Right. I, went and I'm, there I, once. I throw three things at them, and yeah. they're all like. <laughs> and that owner, the owner and his wife, the two owners were there, and they yeah. were amazing. They like yeah. stuff like that. Oh yeah, they no, just, real, real quick, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I suspect um, my guess, based on what I've seen, the CrossFit community will respond really, really well to the jam, as will Brazilian Jiu Jitsu community. Mm -hmm. And they're used to being clothed yeah. and like using legs and yeah. other limbs. Okay. So. Maybe you can go talk to Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Me and Joe ain't hanging out, taking yeah, DMT together I mean, yet? Go and run around and run around <laughs> the woods with a bow and arrow? <laughs> Dude, I saw. It's a Steve Ranella. It's a meat eater yeah, on I love Netflix. Him. Are you kidding? Yeah, he's and like, and, and 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 Joe Rogan pops up. And I know Joe's a hunter. I follow him on Instagram. Yeah. He's always eating elk. Yeah. But all of a sudden, Joe's running around in what looks like a loincloth with nothing but a bow. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, that is hardcore, bro. Like, I can't imagine getting close enough to an animal to shoot with a bow. I know. Like, if you got a gun, you know, a, a rifle, that's like distance, know. you know. But like a bow, I that's know. like, dude, that's hardcore, man. He is hardcore. Yeah. He's funny. I can totally see it though. I can totally. See it. Talking to Zero, I really can because I listen to his podcast. He's awesome. You guys would have a lot to talk about, and you know, some some similar stuff. Yeah, I think his uh, personality is very similar. Yeah. But then um, Joe Rogan, and then uh, I really like Doug Stanhope. Yeah. And then Stanhope and Joe Rogan used to do stuff together for a while. I remember. I don't know if it was. They're so funny. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Just right That's there along your so spine. Totally it. Yeah. Yeah. I found myself doing There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. So, there you for go. a camera like this, can you have So, I got to update all the stuff online. Fortunately, everybody made it, but people have been confused because. For a while there, they were doing weird stuff with the Facebook group, so I moved it to my business page. Oh. And when I moved it to my business page, it wants to show people that it's at my house. Oh, no. So I've been trying to figure out what's the best way to list it so that people understand what event is where. Uh -huh. And we'll continue to work on that. Yeah. There we go. That's At that point. Amazing. There we go. There's, like I was telling you, oh. there's going to be three, so uh, one live switch here, yeah. one guy getting you Skittles, <laughs> only, only yellow. Yes, Skittles only the yellow. <laughs> well, then, and then Spinal Tap was it? No, what was Spinal you'll, Tap? Was it the brown M&M's he didn't want to eat? That's what it was? You'll, you'll be tuna. giving a massage while someone else is giving you a massage. Tuna. I love tuna. No bonds. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cleveland. Hello. <laughs> calling, calling Robert from the green room. Calling Robert from the green room. Oh no! Look, it's the evil Knievel of Oaxaca. Magda has has made herself present. It only took me like two or three jams to figure out how to pronounce Oaxaca. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that, now that I can say it, it's funny. You know what? I had a problem the other day. I was trying to say the word colloquial, and I couldn't say it. I was like, colloquial. I did that too. <laughs> yeah. Colloquial. I'll do a little bit on this side. There we go. How's that? Great. There we go. All right, there. Too much? So good. Now All right, there. That's good. Something about it. Crazy. How's that feeling? I saw you at the jam. 
How much time massage are they doing at the Acro Jams yeah, these yeah, days? Like Give or take? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at one time or... Yeah. They, they were trying to get me to do classes and I've just been so busy. I don't really know exactly how to like integrate into the Acro community in like the easiest way. Yeah. I think it would be honestly taking time to stop by on a Friday night and just getting a feel for it. Just hang, hang out? Yeah. Whatever, like, you know, there's good things. And that's definitely the majority of people showing up on Fridays. So yeah. find out what it is that much Well, part of the reason I dropped back with this is I'm trying to create a little bit more time to work on infrastructure. But I think in the next, especially by the end of the year, a lot of stuff's going to be in place. So I'll have a little more free time to figure out what I want to do. It's, it's all the sense of humor with the massage that makes the time go by fast. <laughs> oh, th this is, we're really behaving tonight like we're on camera, but you should hear the stuff we normally uh, say. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> yeah, that's what was giving me the vibe. Like, I feel like, man, you understand it, man. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to be funny, but I know how to make people angry. That's my one true gift. <laughs> That's part yeah. of the game. Yeah. When, 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 when massage therapists, but that's the thing, but massage therapists aren't on Twitter. Yeah, but there's a lot of But I could post but memes on Facebook, and that makes them real one. angry. <laughs> and I'm like, a <laughs> meme? A meme makes you angry? I had somebody criticize me because my meme was not science informed. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, is a meme. <laughs> like, this isn't a philosophical statement, it's a meme. <laughs> It's like, what is, what is the purpose of this meme? I thought they were to be funny. <laughs> there you go. That better? So much better. Good. So great. Good. Hmm. Yeah. Can I do anything? Oh well, the problem is I got all this equipment on. Probably when we when we when we shut down the video, I'll probably take this stuff off and get somebody to work on me. You piriformis? Is that what you want? Sure, uh, sure. Uh, let's see. Can you hop up on this mat? No, oh, you want to use this? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, just lay lay down on your front. Are you have more problems on the right side or the left side? Always right. Always right. Okay. And then, are you doing anything in particular? Or? I'm a massage therapist. So okay. You know. Is it just like you pivot on your I pivot on my right. left, le everything. right leg, and yeah. whatever else? Okay. Yeah. And then, are you having like any problems, like pain running down your leg or anything else? Uh, no, I haven't had sciatic problems in a while, mostly because like my fiance, like I haven't pulled my hips to keep everything. It, traction, it yeah. helps. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the real, the real complicated way we work on gluteals. <laughs> You're gonna sit glute to glute. Glute to glute when you're sitting glute to glute. Is that too much pressure? Actually, it's really nice. Like, yes, it's intense, but it's not. Okay. Because if you like the rocking, I can continue with that. Normally, if I just lean in, that's a little bit more intense. Yeah. Let's keep the rocking. <laughs> Yeah, glute medius, um, what I might do in a second, let me kind of work on this and then I'll turn you on your back and kind of work from the side. The gluteus medius is a little more lateral and a lot of people have problems with it. I think massage therapists don't address it enough because they've only got the client prone and supine. So a lot of therapists I talk to is amazing how few do. Yeah. To me. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of therapists will tell me they never work in sideline unless the client's pregnant. Right there. A little more lateral. You're dying here. I can, I can see. I can see the. <laughs> <laughs> the energetic configuration of your chakras changed. 
your facial expression was like, eh, I don't know if this is fun anymore. Uh, yeah. And then let me let me do just a little bit on the other side too. Yeah. Of pain, pain and what? Pain and drool. Pain and drool. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why, and I guess if you have better equipment, you've probably got stuff on rollers and stands, like professional, you know, cameras, like film shoots and stuff. Um, I have a, a client who works as a grip, and when he came in, he's like, nah, man, I'm a grip. And I'm like, because I'll see it on the credits on like a film, and I'm like, grip. He's like, the grip, bro. The grip. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know or you don't I don't know. I don't know what that means and he's like dude listen I, I have like 80 pounds of camera and all I do is this and hold it still without moving and I go oh god <laughs> oh yeah it's like I I literally like you I was working on but he's way more tight like I literally just stand on his quad it's like double footed compression but like he, he's just so tight it takes like big broad structures and long held compressions because he just does this for a living <laughs> like all his all his flexors in the front you know it's only maybe like a rock climber is maybe more tight than that and even rock climbers are more mobile because they're you know crawling around nah man the grip <laughs> Analyzing how people move, uh, house painters. <laughs> Turn over on your uh, back for me briefly. I just want to work from the side. There we go. I want to see what this feels like from here. Hey, what's up, Mom? How you doing? Is that Miss Gardner? I was talking to my mom about handling some of my clerical, like online, uh, like emails and stuff. And then I, I think I was telling her, I keep telling her that if I get her to do it, I actually want her to introduce herself. It's like, this is Robert's mama. <laughs> Because I feel like people will be nicer to her if they know it's my mom. You know, made her T-shirt. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta be nice to my mama. She put up with me for 42 years. So, schedule for classes is a little off at the moment because I'm waiting on my store to be finished so we can list stuff. Okay. Then, once I get the store done, it'll be easy for me to list classes consistently. I want to be able to. My guess is potentially I'm going to talk to the owner here mm -hmm. and start setting up classes here unless it's at my home studio. What days are you taking? Oh, yeah. No idea. Okay, and the problem is if I do it here, it's you got to find, for intro tie, three days back to back. If it's before the end of the year, I can likely do it in my home studio and it's only about 12 people, so it's kind of nice space-wise. I need something long-term that's maybe a little bit larger but I'm going to have to kind of figure that out. And then also what I want to do is I found a location in Dallas that I think I can schedule regularly. I want more of a set schedule. So I say, hey, every three to four months we have another series. That'll make it easier for people to be able to sign up and know when they can take class. Um, I just don't have a set yet because we were working on my online store. Because we were having all these distribution problems because we've got retail and merchandise and stuff now. And it was a little more challenging to allow people to buy stuff online and then deal with distribution. Yeah. Don't kill her, John. We need Anne Louise. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, if um do you still want to work on a table primarily? I want to do both. 
Okay. If that's, if that's yeah, 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 no, you, you, the thing is, I, I don't really make students choose. Yeah. I'm, I'm very dedicated, like, mat practitioner. Of course. But I continue to, like, push the edges of what the table will allow yeah, yeah. to, like, expand the therapist's repertoire. I want to be able to do some of this at my job. Yeah. yeah. You know, Where do you work now? Yeah. Okay. Hannah Stone? Yeah. Sure. yeah. And you can easily, easily, some of the stuff on the table, you can easily incorporate some of this in a way that the clients don't even, they don't know. <laughs> just throwing it, throwing it. <laughs> Throw to move in. But um, long term, Matt is really where I'm like pushing the edges, trying to get the therapist to do it. The challenge is none of the facilities will really allow them. The other one is probably where you really need all the Yeah, probably. There's very, very few where you can do mat based. I wonder why. It's, it's flipping <laughs> the whole script upside down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just not what therapists are trained initially to do. How's that right there? Yeah, right there. It seems like angrily sore. Yeah, that feels dense right there. Are you having problems with your hands or anything? Uh, I'm starting. It's starting to hurt. Is what it is. It's, it's starting to hurt. Like, yeah, I can work on them just a little bit. Yeah, let me finish up with your glutes, and I'll do that. <laughs> don't, don't kill her. We need Anne Louise. Which is the beginning. Like orthopedic work is devastating. Where'd you go to school? Watersea. Yeah. Yeah. And loves orthopedic work just kills me. But, you know. It was an end. Yeah. Oh, not yet. Why the the what on my face? Oh, my mom. Yeah. Oh, I had a mole over here. Yeah, just trying to be the new school Nelly. Huh? New school Nelly. No, oh, that's right. That's right. It's just I needed something to cover up my beauty. Yeah, actually, I had a mole and it got itchy. I thought something was wrong with it. I put some stuff on it called sea herb. And the sea herb, like, I don't know how this stuff works exactly. But basically, my body, I've, I've done it twice now. Uh, what a weird mole or something where I'm like, hope, you know, people are freaking out thinking I got skin cancer, but. Uh, being as pale as I am, that's inevitable. But um, the sea herb, for some reason, it's like the mole will turn black, and your body starts to attack it, and it cuts it off, and then it, it left like a little, like a little dimple, like a little crater, and the skin is still healing because it just completely pushes it off if there's something wrong with it. Like I have other, you know, moles or things that are, you know, completely fine, no issues, but that one was bothering me, so. There we go. You killed Tana. <laughs> Yeah, we keep having debates about various states and like their laws regarding massage. So in Washington state, we've had discussions about whether the time massage jam would be illegal. And my brother lives in Seattle and I keep threatening because I got banned from a couple of Washington state massage groups recently. And I keep threatening to go to, to Washington state and have a time massage jam get arrested in protest. That's right, come get me. I'm gonna be like NWA. Fuck the police. There you go. Take that. At least you're willing to go to Washington and not try to get into Area 51 to do time. Area 51. That would be an incredible place to do a time right now. So your arms, is it more right side? Right arm? Okay. And then when you have problems with your hands, what is it? It's right. Like in the junction? Yeah. Okay. Can you scoot over that way just a little bit? There we go. There we go. And if there's too much pressure, just let me know. Of course not. 
Yeah, I have I have wicked dreams of getting arrested for doing good stuff, but they'll probably just send me a cease and desist letter, even if it was, <laughs> which isn't nearly as cool. I got a cease and desist letter like that. You know. You need to, you have like that rap with the mugshot, or it doesn't count. Is it more tender up towards the elbow? Yeah. There we go. Ooh, your crabby claw. Exactly. The death grip. Yeah. See you soon, Tana. Thank you for coming out. Vulcan touch. Right. There. Is that too much? I don't even know what I'm doing now. Okay, stop running. So, press some more. That's five. There it is, yes. Watch that rest. I watch the Lamaze videos. We can see this. Lamaze? It's a joke. Oh. Like, hey, Lamaze, breathe. Oh. That's what they tell pregnant ladies to do when they're getting married. Two more. A little slower. It's okay. It's okay. This one's flat. Yeah, like it's going to be. That is amazing. Okay, now it's flying. Now it's straight up. Right there. Is it better if you're not holding on to that? So, did you originally just start with Thai? Mm mm. You went to. Yeah, I just went to massage school first. Yeah. Let me let me finish this up and then we'll, so we can talk about it. I'll do the other arm as well. You getting any tinglies? Or? Oh yeah. Okay. Completely numb. So it's numb through the palm. Mhm. Mm yeah. And then does it go up higher? Mhm. Mm you got tinglies or is it just numb? Tinglies. Just tinglies. In okay. The, in the fingers. In the fingers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. See the color difference? They might have did something yeah. like it. <laughs> just a little bit. So essentially, what this does is it forms an arterial tourniquet. Okay. In a second, can you can you move your hand a little bit like that for me? There you go. And then just let it rest. And I want to make sure that you, you capture this. So you see the color difference, right? Yes. And I'm making sure he's capturing it on camera. I'm going to slowly back off. And as I slowly back off, you'll see the color change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it feel now? Thank you, oh people of Thailand, <laughs> for your ancient powers of mashing. Yvette Mercado asks, yeah. is there anything you can do for maybe relieving some tennis elbow pain? So there are certain conditions like golfer's elbow or tennis elbow, stuff like that, that I'd actually have to sit down and do a little more research. Immediately, I think it's something that crosses the elbow joint but it depends on the muscles and then also I don't have as much experience working with people who play tennis or golf to be able to isolate what muscles to focus on. Also sometimes people will give it a name just because they got elbow pain from like repetitive use but I don't know exactly what tissue to focus on. Yeah. I mean do the other, other side? You can just scoot over that side a little bit. The hip? Yeah. Yeah. So, so bring this leg up? This leg up. There you go. There you go. And she's, she's in your holster. What you want to be able to do is lean with your hips and then bring her knee up towards her shoulder. So scoot, scoot in further. There you go. There you go. Because now it's, it's basically hands free, but as you, as you lean your hips in, it's going to mobilize her, her hip there. Okay. There you go. So don't want this knee in closer to her? So it depends. Sometimes, no, nah, sometimes th this, is, this is the leg that's more in her business. Like th from this stance, it's like sometimes what I'll do is if, if you back off a little bit, can you bring her leg to like 90 degrees, like her femur to 90 degrees to her spine, but let her leg roll open. So back off a little bit. Okay. No, no, it's fine. Because okay, yeah, okay. it makes sense to me, but it's yeah, trying to describe like, how to move people's bodies. So if she lets her leg roll open, I want you to try this. What happens if you start to press onto her adductors, like pushing her hip down towards the ground? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just looking at her face to make sure she's not, you know, freaking out. Oh, yeah. There you go. Because now it's like external rotation on the hip, right? Okay. When she's in this position, she's still in your holster. After you've done this two or three times to kind of open the hip, you can slowly bring her knee up towards the shoulder, but it changes the motion and, like, the tissue that you're accessing based on movement. Okay. Yeah. How's this feel? Good. Because some people with low back pain, they have like really bad problems with their adductors and like stability. So I'll have a tendency to work on all of this. And what happens is like you're looking on their legs. That's how they look because that's where you're touching. What it does is it starts to rock their pelvis and start to access their lumbar spine. You, do you need to say that louder for the camera? Every, every woman I'm talking to is like, the goddamn kids are killing me. <laughs> They're terrible. How's the other our hand feel now? Yeah, but it's easy, right? It's one of the things with therapists, any who have hand problems with their hands, I always do this to them, and they're always completely blown away, like very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. It can actually be really handy. And this is pretty. This is instant and quick. <laughs> yeah, you get a chance to like mobilize and kind of stretch while you work on people. Oh, you want to trade? You want me to do this to you first? I was like, oh, I'm there. <laughs> this is about what we got. If I go any further, I'm not getting up. <laughs> it's not as bad on this side. Live stream this in the same way. I have baby on my left hand now. I ended up getting stitches right before, right before my 50 hour internship in the finger. And then I did six massages after getting two stitches in my left hand. How long have you been working? I started in June. Oh, so pretty fresh. Yeah, nice and new, fresh little massage therapist baby. So I worked for about a year um, after school, massage school. And what happened was I got a, a job at a retreat because a local massage school owner, Baton Rouge, um, Vernon Smith, hey Vernon, if you're out there, say hello. Um, Vernon was running a retreat for like a CE class. He needed to be for massage therapy circles. So he was like, can you cook at this retreat? And I was like, I was broke and just, just getting on my feet as a massage therapist. So I was like, sure, I'll, I'll come in. Well, when I went in, a young lady who taught Thai massage did a demonstration, and I looked at it, and it was like, you've know, ever seen his massage on a table. Mm -hmm. And she did a demo, and after the demo, I just talked with her and said, hey, you know, I'd like to get a session or take a class. Uh, she steered me towards one of her teaching assistants. I had one session, and after that session, I was like, I'll tell you everything she teaches. Mm -hmm. It was like everything I loved about yoga and massage, like, rolled into one. <laughs> Oh, God, don't get me started. <laughs> we, we will not talk about the yo massage on camera. That's the conversation we have after the, if the, if the yo massage people don't, don't get mad at me. I'm in your group. That's fine. Um, because it's not what people think it is. That's my complaint about it. Like, I don't even think, no offense, the, no, no offense to the yo massage people. I don't like the name. I don't think it really represents what they do. Just like, because people tell me what I do is in Thai massage, so like I'm in the middle of rebranding, like trying to figure out how to deal with that because they keep trying to like encapsulate. And when you're trying to build a brand, when you say yo massage, people think it's y yoga. And it's like, hmm, it's more like doing Swedish on props. Hmm. That's basically what it was. How's your arm doing, by the way? Is it like dead? <laughs> Because I just totally ignore the person I'm working on. They're like, their, their arm is buzzing and they're dying. It's white. Yeah. It's white. We're all white. Except, well, except him. He's, he got melanin. He's got melanin. It, it's lighter than it was when we started. Natural sunlight. Is it your tingly a little bit? It's tingly. A little bit? Okay. My, my brother uh, is, my, both my younger brothers, they're gingers. And my brother married a lady from the Philippines. And when I got married, I literally wanted to hug her and be like, thank you for bringing melanin into my family. 
<laughs> like, my, my people are afraid of sunburn. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. And like this. There we go. And real slow, you just let it rest. I mean, you see the color difference, right? Yeah, I'm going to slowly back off. You can see the, the color change. Ooh, that one turned real pink. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, we finish up. So thank you guys for uh, tuning in tonight. This was the Time Massage Jam in Austin, Texas. You can follow us on Time Massage Jam. That's the main Facebook page. Uh, we also have a Time Massage Jam Instagram if you want to follow us there. But we'll continue to put out information and content over time. I'm still working with Trent and Abraham here to go ahead and figure out how we're putting out information. Um, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to uh, write down below and I'll answer as I can. Also, if you want to join our subscription service, it's seven bucks a month. It's about 350 hours of content that goes to my uh, subscription service. I was just saying. Oh, okay. Um, so you can join that. There's access to a private Facebook group, which allows us to also like take your questions and kind of shoot video and work with you interactively. I tend to tell people it's almost like an interactive sort of online apprenticeship. But thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you again Jeff, soon. Uh, before we close out, any one piece of advice you could give uh, entrepreneurs, or I'm sorry, ma massage therapists or entrepreneurs, yeah. you know, for to, to get the work done, get, keep on the grind. So when it comes to entrepreneurship, especially within the massage industry, that's more what I can talk about. Um, I think a lot of massage therapists don't fundamentally understand what this technology is doing to our industry. So it's not that we can deliver a massage over social media. It's what happens to the public's perception of what we do when we continue to use video regularly. One of the reasons I've really been able to excel is I'm not afraid to be on camera. I really highly recommend as an entrepreneur in whatever industry, but especially in massage, I would do more research on social media and social media platforms and how you can get your message out to people.